From what we can tell, Mr. Pfeffer is quite congenial. For a dentist, anyway. That's all I had better write for now. I'm sure we'll see each other again, Jacqueline. But probably not before the war's over. Until then, a little kiss from your best friend, Anne. Mr. Frank. Good morning, Mip. Here you are. Some cigarettes, if you don't mind me. And some peppermint tea. I've been having the most frightful dizzy spells lately. Things are harder and harder to come by. Whatever you can do will be fine for all of us. So, Mip, what's the news? Have you seen Jackie? I have a letter for her, but Daddy won't let me give it to you. When I finish with the shopping, we'll have our talk. And what of our friend, Mr. Pfeffer? He can't come tomorrow. He has patience. <laughs> <laughs> Idea. Oh what nerve. Tomorrow is Friday. Tell Mr. Pfeffer we will expect him Monday. That'll give him time to settle his affairs, but not a day later. I'll see to it. Meep, you remember one of our salesmen, Mr. Victor? Mm. Mrs. King. May I take your coat? Our sales in Haversum. Oh, what? Bad. Mm -hmm. Haversum. Very bad. I hear the reports. Bring. Noir. 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 Re, re. Black. Ah. Oh, Mr. Pfeffer. Mr. Pfeffer. What? You, you're in Switzerland. No, no, that was only a story. Hello, Mr. Pfeffer. Mrs. Frank. Well, here oh. it is, Mr. Pfeffer. Nice to meet you. Don't worry. It's only like this when the workers downstairs are out to lunch. For the rest of the day, it's quiet. You'll have to learn the rules, of course. There are scads of rules. Mr. Pfeffer appreciates the value of discipline. Here, yeah, idleness is our enemy. Our motto, work and hope. <laughs> Listen to the Prussian officer. <laughs> Breakfast is at 9 a.m., except on Sundays and holidays when it's 11.30. Lunch is from 1.15 to 1.35, and then we expect visitors. Visitors? Our helpers, of course. Here. Thank you. Dinner after the nightly news broadcasts, and lights out promptly at 10. Parlez-vous français, Monsieur Pfeffer? Oui, 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 je parle un peu. <laughs> Comment ça va, madame? What does that mean? My poor Charlotte. She thinks I've been spirited away to the country. Who would ever believe that I'm right here in the center of Amsterdam? <laughs> would you like some more vegetables, oh. Mr. Pfeffer? Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> I think we're all very fortunate here. What a ridiculous thing to say. I don't think it's ridiculous at all. It's a wonder I don't cry all the time thinking about my friends. She's been taking her valerium drops. Be quiet. Putty. You're spoiling my digestion. Children know nothing of what goes on in the world. Here, here. Where's my pillow? What have you done with it this time? I ate it. How am I supposed to know where it is? You keep losing everything. Here. Many 
your predictions never come true. When have I ever been wrong? When have you ever been right? I think it's a bit odd. Anne and there with Mr. Pepper. He's so old. Anne's still a child. You won't mind. <sighs> we used to have such fun before. Before we were married, you mean? Ah, do you always take so long? Only as long as I need to. I'd have to have a word with your father. <laughs> Don't touch me! <laughs> Listen to them. Every night, the same racket. It would have been different with the Goslers. With two children and a baby on the way. We've been over this, Edith. If the baby had cried, what then? It would have given us all away. This is no place for a woman as pregnant as she was. At least I could have taken care of her. I still can't believe it. Mother and baby both dead. <gasps> Mother, don't. It would have been different if... if I had been there to help. You don't know that, Edith. That's just it, Otto. I will never know. You have to try not to think of things outside these walls. It's hard, I know. But we can't be responsible for everyone. Just for ourselves. You mustn't do that. I can't help it. I like watching people. Sometimes I make up stories for them, imagining what their lives are like, what ours would be like if... Margot, don't I look different to you? Different? Anne, have you... I wanted it to be my own sweet little secret for a while. I've only told Bat. She fetched some things from the chemist for me. I'm happy for you, really. <sighs> if only people would just stop treating me like a child. Do you think they have Jewish schools in Switzerland? Of course they do. But there aren't any Germans to push to go there. I still can't believe she left her shoes behind. She was so proud of them, remember? You really saw them? Right on the floor. Like she's just kicked them off. 
Did you see the diary? It was gone. <laughs> but we looked. I'm sorry, my, my wife. They took her away last night. He sent you this. I've seen Fritz. Can't you even tell me where he is? I don't know. You see that he gets this? Of course. Thank you. You're so kind. Tell him I love him. And that I'll wait. I don't even know what he's saying. This is not the end. It is possibly the beginning of the end, and it is certainly the end of the beginning. Now, do you know what that means, Mr. Frank? If you ask me, the British should spend more time bombing Germany, less time drinking tea. Oh, shut up already. The Americans, Otto. Why don't they come? Why do they take so long? They got their hands full fighting the Japanese. You mustn't despair, Edith. The invasion will come. They'll be here soon. Yes, but will we? Daddy, will you please ask Mr. Pfeffer why he thinks it's so unreasonable of me to insist upon me being able to use my own desk? I have important work to do work, you understand? And besides, there are other places you can go. This writing of yours, you could do it in the attic, perhaps. It's only a diary, after all. A childish pastime. Childish? Now, now, you needn't argue. What I propose is this. Uh, Anne should have the desk, say, twice a week, from four in the afternoon until 5.30, and Mr. Pfeffer may use it the rest of the time. But, Pim... Are we agreed? 